This felt like a good idea, but the more now that I'm out here, it seems awful dramatic for like a wee stupid unpopular opinions video. <laughs> But, you know what, it was a wonder day today and I was like, am I gonna, would you even think about wasting a wonder day like this to film a video inside? No, you wouldn't. So here we are outside in the lovely countryside, the scenic background. I feel like I'm on an episode of Country Fire. Location, location, you know? And we're just gonna get into it because it's a beautiful day. Oh, okay, first unpopular opinion. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in the stream because I don't know if I could be asked. I'm just gonna read them off my phone because you know, you don't, you don't really care, do you? No, you don't. After I added and all that, I decided that I was gonna put it on the screen for you. But I've added it and I can't be bothered deleting it now because you know, I put a lot of time and effort into adding and it was like 15 seconds. So it's not getting deleted, enjoy! <laughs> oh my goodness, are you a bit wonky? Number one, pineapple belongs on pizza. You know what, I used to be very, very big advocate for no pineapple on pizza. You know what, I was like, fruit doesn't really belong on pizza. Or tomatoes are pizza, tomatoes are fruit. So yeah. It's not though, is it? Idiot. I'm gonna try it. I was always very big and like, I hate it and I'm never trying it. Then it was there one day and I was like, I'm starving. There's only one bit of pizza left and it's pineapple. And I was like, you know what? I'll give it a go. And you know what? I didn't hate it. So would I choose it? No. Would I eat it if it's there? Of course. I mean, barbecue based pizza over tomato based. You know what? I have to agree with that. I love a good barbecue meat feast pizza from Domino's. You know, you really couldn't beat it with a big stick. Now, bit confusing. Would I have a whole pizza of barbecue base? Probably not because it's kind of intense and maybe a bit sickening, but I would. I would often take a good couple of slices of it, do you know what I mean? Nando's and Five Guys are overrated. Nando's and Five Guys are a bit overrated. Not gonna lie to you, Nando's isn't great. It's all right, but pricey for what the food is. Now, Five Guys, although it's a bit pricey, I do love myself a bit of Five Guys. The food is pretty phenomenal. The burgers, the Cajun chips. Oh, beautiful, average. You know what I mean? It's all right. A bit pricey, you know? <laughs> a bit of a student. Trisha Paytas sucks. If you don't know Trisha Paytas, 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 Trisha Paytas, she's a wee YouTuber. A bit of a controversial one at that. You know what? I don't hate her. She's a bit of a melter. And I agree. She does it all for attention. Do I hate her? No. I think she's quite funny. I wouldn't want to be getting involved in some beef with her because she'd rip me to shreds. Winter's the worst season of all time. Bit of a dramatic, what did I just do there? Why did I move home? Bit of a dramatic statement. Now, I love winter. Used to love winter almost as much as summer. And then I realized that there's one good day in winter and it's Christmas day and that's it. Would you choose one day over six months of summer once you get to uni? No, you wouldn't. Why did I zoom them out to the side? That's confusing. I would say autumn's the worst season because it's an awkward in between, you know? You've got summer, fantastic spring. Getting close to summer, you can start to do stuff. Now it's kind of spring, April time. Not a, not, not a fan of it. Winter I would say is next because it's called Christmas and then there's autumn. What's that got? Brown leaves and Halloween. <laughs> Grow up. Your YouTube content and your you your YouTube content is interesting. Now that's an unpopular opinion from Dawson, my housemate. You dick. Dawson, I don't really understand how you why you put that on there. Say that's quite a popular opinion that I'm funny and interesting and really enjoyable. So yeah, I think. Do you know why this works, Dawson? Curtains aren't a good look now. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past three days, I have decided that I might grow my hair out. And from that resulted these. Someone, someone open the curtains. It's getting a bit dark in here. Um, yeah, so I've got curtains at the minute. Will they last? I'm not sure. Will I actually grow my hair out? Unsure. I tried two years ago and gave up because it's, it's a long process. And you know what? I don't know if I have it in me, to be honest with you, but. Look, the only justification I had for this was I thought I looked like Justin Bieber. I didn't. But I thought I did. They're here for now. Comment down below if you like the curtains. Crocs are in fashion. <gasps> if I ever get a pair of Crocs, I have your- you have- you have my permission to just, you know, kill me. Bit over dramatic, bit drastic, but... <clears throat> crocs will be the death of- oh, Crocs are stinking. They are vile, and you know what I hate with my whole heart the Crocs are becoming fashionable. <gasps> there is nothing in the world that you could do to make me change my opinion. Moving on. Lisburn Road over Strandmillis. You know what, I agree. I agree. If you live in Belfast and you know what we're talking about, it's student area, you have two main places to live. You've Lisburn Road, or you've got Strandmillis. Strandmillis is a wee small, compact, claustrophobic three streets, maybe 30 streets. Lisburn Road is big and wide and, you know, breathable. You don't feel like you're gonna die every couple of minutes because the houses are closing in on you. There's so many shops, coffee shops, everything. It's got Boojum. What more do you want? Stramnos has got an overpriced co-op. Say it loud for the people in the back. 
Hey man, I agree. It's an unpopular opinion, but I agree. Dawson Clayton isn't good looking. Now, well, I personally would. That's an unpopular opinion. I would more go along the lines that that's a popular opinion. Dawson Clayton is not good looking. Now, Dawson, take a look in the mirror and you can decide for yourself and then comment down below what you think. Tomato ketchup should be kept in the fridge. You know what? I didn't know that that wasn't the regular. My family, up until my life, my whole life, what I mean up until, my whole life, kept ketchup in the fridge. And I didn't know that that was wrong until I went to uni and discovered that there's cretins out there who keep it in the cupboard. Now, there's nothing better than a nice cold wee bit of ketchup on with a hot chip, you know, you cool it down. The tomatoes, oh. oh. Nothing better than cold tomato ketchup. And you know, if you disagree, you're stupid. The remor is overrated. You know what? The remor is a wee restaurant up north, not very well known, you know. It's kind of like a wee small up and coming business, very small. Um, look, look, you killed the joke. It wasn't funny to begin with, and you've ruined it. Well done. The remor is overrated. What do I think about that? I'm unsure. I haven't really formed an opinion, and I am stalling. I like the remor. It's not that pricey, and you know what? It's got good food. The queue, the queue now. If we're going to get into the queue, I would say, <laughs> would you be asked waiting for. I waited an hour and 45 minutes one time for my birthday and got up. So, yeah, we're completely booked out. It's like, we called ahead and booked. Yeah, sorry. We can't find your register. What? We called. It's my birthday. You ruined my birthday. We did an hour and 45 minutes. I got nowhere. I'm going to be chippy for my birthday. You know what? I hate you. I like the Remor. Remor's food's nice. It's not well, not badly priced, but the queue is insane. And you know what? It's just awful difficult. Linda chocolate isn't nice. No. I what I think about that, I used to love Linden balls. My granny used to give me them every every time I went to, well, she didn't, she didn't give me them. That's the issue. I went and stole them whenever she had a wee, like, secret stash, and I just used to go and eat them, and she'd come back and like, Reese, did you eat my ball? I like Linden balls. I hate Love Island. You know what? I loved a bit of Love Island. Um, that's it, yeah, I like Love Island, sorry. Nutella is ranked now. You'd have to be a bit of a... Madman to even attempt to say Nutella isn't nice, and you know what? If you think Nutella isn't nice, I feel sorry for you. You know, you just haven't you just haven't experienced real joy in your life. You know, there's nothing nicer than just getting a spoon, bit of Nutella, and just I sued as a child, and it resulted in me having a lot. Socks in bed isn't as bad. Everyone's just being dramatic now. Socks in bed, you have to be a bit. Dare I say it? A bit of a nonce to wear socks in bed. Now there is nothing worse than climbing into bed and you're just met with the texture of your sheets and your socks rubbing together. Oh, would almost make you sick. Socks in bed is a bit foul. And you know what, if you wear socks in bed, get yourself sorted out. Maybe go see a psychiatrist and work through your issues because there's something not right there. Crocs are ugly. You know what, a, a, man. And that's an unpopular opinion. This is what we're dealing with. People actually think they're nice. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be sick. Well done steak is the best. Now I used to be a well done steak man and then I went to culinary school and got shot at that until it changed my opinion. So now I love medium steak. Potato and ketchup. Now, while that sounds a bit odd, you know, like mashed potato and a bit of ketchup. What the F? Why would you do that? Chips. Hate to break it to you. They are potatoes. And what do you eat with chips? Ketchup. Have I ever done it? Mashed potato with ketchup? No, but my brother used to on Sunday dinner and we all thought he was a creep. And we still do. Christopher, you still are. Harry Styles is the pinnacle of masculinity. I don't really have a lot to say about Harry Styles. I haven't really formed much of an opinion on him. If he wants to wear a dress, let him wear a dress. Do I really care? Not really. I think he's overrated music-wise and every girl just loves him because he gets high to watermelon sugar or something. Do I know what he's talking about? No. I only found out that was a song about drugs about three months ago. Did you know the song Whistle by Flo Rida? Can you blow my whistle, baby? Is actually about something naughtier than I thought it was about. It's not about blowing a whistle, let me tell you that. Gordon Ramsay is actually a nice guy. Now, do I believe Gordon Ramsay is a nice guy? No. I don't. Chocolate shouldn't be kept in the fridge. Now, unpopular opinion. Chocolate should be kept in the fridge. I don't I don't know if chocolate being kept in the fridge is an unpopular opinion. I don't know a lot of people who keep it in the fridge, but my mum does. And I didn't know how. She used to do it all the time. I was like, mmm, what? what's the chocolate doing in the fridge? <laughs> Maybe get that out, the guests are coming over. <laughs> people are gonna see. And she's like, Reese, here, try it first and then get back to me. And I was like, mum, no, everyone's gonna laugh at me and make fun of me. And she's like, Reese, trust me, try it. And I was like, okay. And I've done it. And you know what? My life was changed forever. Would I eat chocolate from the cupboard now? Yes. Crisps are overrated. The fact that someone even commented that makes me sad. Crisps are like a cool summer's evening. A brisk, beautiful morn. You know what? Crisps are just amazing. You know, you couldn't beat a good crisp. A wee Dorito. Oh, barbecue big hoops. <laughs> I love a good crisp, me. Oh, honest to goodness. Sweet corn is better cold. If you give it to me boiled, I'd look at you in the face and spit on you. Now, if you boiled it, drained it, put a bit of butter, a bit of pepper on it. You know, I could, I could, I could maybe deal with you. Sweet corn cold. 
You know what? Actually, not anything. About a sweet corn room temperature with a bit of butter and a wee bit of crushed pepper. Oh, beautiful. Cold, unsure. Hot, unsure. Medium temperature, bit of butter, pepper. Oh, get out of here. Ah. I almost barked there. I was a bit odd. And finally, to end this, one very, very unpopular opinion. Jennifer Aniston's overrated. If you're talking to the wrong person, I would be very partial to a Jennifer Aniston movie. Anything she's in, I love. There was one movie that I kind of hated, and that's the only movie I've ever watched with Jennifer Aniston, and it was Along Came Polly. I'm incorrect. There's one more movie that I hated three million times more, and it was Friends With Money. Oh my goodness. Talk about walking depression. Jennifer Aniston is, you know, kind of superb, I believe. She should be President of the United States. Um, yeah, but that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this unpopular opinions video. I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't offend anybody. <laughs> if you did, grow up, because you know what, you're stupid. Um, if you like Crocs, I hope you, you know, maybe bang your head off a cupboard, you dirty nonce. Bye.